look at that. They got all these sunnies. Obviously, they're not real. All fake. I don't mind it, but two things I, I never, almost never want to buy. Welcome to the night market of Chiang Mai. This evening, it's a Friday night, so very exciting. But also, just wanted to show you guys what these night markets look like. In my previous videos, you would have seen I was staying in the old city. But this time, after I came back from Pai, I'm actually staying closer to the night market because I just wanted to have a bit of a change. I wanted to explore. But let me show you. Let me just give you a bit of a glimpse what's happening here. So you'll see these night markets. They only pop up after, I reckon, sunset-ish. A bit late during the day, this street is like a very normal looking street. But come by this time, and it changes. You find souvenirs, gems, clothes, food, fake products. What else? Tour, massages, pubs, bars. But there is one thing they all have in common. And uh, you would have seen it by now in the video already. So stand by and see if you can find out what that one thing is in common. And it's an item, it's not a person I'm talking about. I'll give you a little hint. It's got something to do with money. Not directly, but probably indirectly. Before we discuss that, let's just keep exploring. Look at that, they got all these sunnies. Obviously they're not real, all fake. Uh, and this goes for both sides. They're on the other side, exactly the same. Look, they've got a GoPro stuff here as well. Like all the electronics. they got someone who's selling AirPod Max, the, the headphone stuff. Hey, oh, yeah, the Gucci Parada. Mimco. A lot of sunnies. A lot of sunnies. I don't mind buying like some of the, I don't know, the fake stuff, whatever you want to call it. I bought a little hat, a, a baseball hat from, uh, where was it, Philippines. I don't mind it, but two things I, I never, almost never want to buy again. And that is the shoe and the sunnies. There's a reason for it. So apparently when you buy sunnies and they're not real, they're actually cheap because they're missing a critical film which protects your eyes. So I won't go into too much details. You can Google it. Why you shouldn't wear those. You'd rather be wearing nothing than those fake sunnies. There's a really good reason for it. And it's true because, you know, you're, you're standing on your feet all day. You need comfortable, good gripping, Good shoes, so no sacrifice of that one. T-shirts, you know, hats, even the bags I wouldn't buy because, God, the last thing you want is overseas is your bag giving up on you. And you have everything just scattered around. That's, that's not good. So a few things, you know, yeah, there are a couple of things you can buy. You get away with it, no problem with that, bit of fun. But some things are just critical. You don't want to. You don't want to sacrifice quality there. And those are just for me: bags, sunnies, and the shoe. Like I'll buy one of these hats. No problem with that because I know that I can chuck it around, and when they get old, I throw it away. No problem. You do have all these nice art here as well which you can take at home well actually i don't mind buying these shorts as well like they are they're not too bad i mean what can go wrong especially when you're traveling around and you there's a lot of water activities like in thailand you do a lot of water activities in most countries you do those kind of shorts come in really handy once uh you got old you just chuck it away and that's it done and dusted no problem at all the cheap, they give you an idea like a 10 bucks for a short, ah, who cares. 
So I was here yesterday in exactly the same kind of crowd. So I don't think it makes much difference in terms of weekdays or weekend. You come here during the day, you can't even tell that this place exists because everything is closed. They um, undo these posts, so they're not allowed to leave them here. Some of the some of them have a, like a little stalls. Uh, these ones, the metal, they need to be collapsed down. So here it is, another kind of food kind of market. All right, mate. Good luck with that bag. Hopefully, it won't give up on you. So guys, here it is, night markets of Chiang Mai. Hey, hey. the bucket hats. Ooh, I don't mind this. That's not too bad. All right, so at the beginning of the video, I did mention they all have something in common. And the answer to that, if anyone has already guessed, good on you. If you haven't, I hope you tried at least. And the answer is, it's the calculator. All right, so have a look at this one. Calculator, wherever it is here. Yes, yes. Okay. Where is that calculator? Oh, well, now they don't have it. There's one more there. The white one there. There's one here. And it's a, it's a critical tool for them and for the customers because this is how the deals break. Yeah, another one here. So yeah, so once you have the calculator, the deals, you punch the numbers and go back and forth and that's how you crack the deal. Uh, in terms of bargaining, they definitely have your bargaining skills on you because this place, they'll throw almost double if not triple at you. So yeah, drop it down, shop around. If you, what I would do is if I was you, if you like something, you know, remember the shop, go around, more than likely you find it again. And if not, you can always come back and buy that one. But at least trying to find the price that's uh, kind of like in par with all the shops. Same so map, I'll leave it to it. I think I'm on, on the uh, other end anyway. Hopefully, hopefully you guys uh, like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, uh, put it down below in the comment box. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Or I'm pretty sure that other people can jump on and help each other out. That's what we do. We learn from each other. Alright guys, enjoy your night. See ya.